got this. You stupid motherfucker. I always thought you were my friend. That you had me and Ellis's backs. It was just an act. You didn't kill me because I said no. You killed me because you thought you owned me. Owned all of us. It was never about us. It was about my old man. My father. Not did anything for him. Same as you and Sammy. Then you understand why I have to do this. But you're not. And you never will be. Hell of a sight, ain't it? When I first come to this town, it was nothing more than a backwater shithole. Now look at it. Let me see your hands. Whatever was between us is over, you understand? It ended the second it was you coming up them stairs instead of my son. You want a drink? All right. I had this imported from Scotland. <laughs> Single malt. Now, usually I'm a bourbon man, but I figured I'd order something with a little more class for when the casino opened. Not much of a chance of that happening now, is it? Don't look that way. Take a seat. I ain't going nowhere. Hey, not bad. I think I still prefer shine. You know, a month or so after my brother Lucho died, I started having nightmares. I had this one where I was on a boat. A giant wave come, knock my ass overboard. I hit that water and sink like a goddamn rock. There was another one where cotton mouths biting me all to hell. But the one that really got to me was Georgie's funeral. He's laid out in that shitty little casket. Neck cut, same as Lucho's. Yeah, that one really got to me. It'll come around again every three or four days. I have one while I'm back in Nam, sleeping in a foxhole. All of a sudden, these dark figures come out of the shadows. I try to fight them off, but they hold me down, tie my hands together, stuff a muddy rag in my mouth so I can't scream, can't warn the men sleeping next to me. And then I gotta listen as all those men die. I imagine that's not gonna go away anytime soon. No. I imagine it won't. The 
And then this. <laughs> this was all to try to keep mine from coming true. Look how that turned out. I buried a lot of people. More than I can count. The one I never wanted to see go down in that cold ground was my son. And here we are. Yes. Here we are. My son is dead. And I'm having a drink with his killer. I'm not gonna apologize for what I did, you understand? If I did, I'd just be lying. I don't have it in me to feel shame for the things I've done to others. Never have. Didn't come here for an apology. Nah. I know you did. Goddamn, I was right about you, wasn't I? <laughs> I knew it the second I fucking saw you at the country club. Men like us, we're just wired up wrong. Only one thing we know. One thing we're good at. I'm gonna be waiting for you, Lincoln Clay. This won't be the last time we see each other. I know. Finish this, you fucking coward. You're just gonna... I take it you're Lincoln Clay. So they tell me. I told Sal this fucking casino would be the end of him. I meant it figuratively. That shit has a way of turning on you, doesn't it? Especially if you piss off the wrong person. <laughs> you know who I am, son? Guessing you're Leo Galanti. Take a little walk, you and me. Probably no surprise, but the rest of the commission wants you dead. You and anybody else that had anything to do with this. What happened here was between me and Marcano. Well, I understand that, son. We all do. But this business makes you paranoid, irrational. They see Sally in a pile of shit. They start wondering if someone's gonna serve them a plate of their own. So you're here to decide if you're coming after me? No. I'm here to deliver a message. You made your point, son. This all ends right here. Right now. I got no quarrel with y'all. Once a month, Sal kicked up 20% of his net cash only. Same man's been delivering it for, oh, I don't know, 40 years or so. I see no need in deviating from that, do you? No, sir. Well, in exchange, you run things as you see fit. Want to sell heroin, want a whorehouse on every other corner? Makes no fucking difference to me. The only thing that matters is 20%. 
And what if I decide to walk away? And leave all this behind? Then this will be the last time we see each other. Best of luck to you, son. Sal and Georgie are gone. And after all the shit we've been through, we run this city. No, that's the kind of news you never get tired of hearing. After all the bullshit, it's almost impossible for me to wrap my brain around the fact that we actually did it. You're a fucking saint, Lincoln. And I'm honored to know you. It ain't personal. Want to know what happened to Lincoln? After he killed those people he worked with, I realized that he was no different from Sal Marcano. So I put a bomb under his car. The things he did, that what he turned into. I couldn't. I did some things in my life. Things that I regret. But killing Lincoln Clay isn't one of them. He carved his path out all on his own. After everything he did, all the people he killed? No, no. The car bomb was too quick, too clean. You know, sometimes I wonder when that priest, Father James Ballard, he identified the body. Some nights when I'm down here, going over it all again, I swear I hear footsteps upstairs that sound like combat boots. No, I, 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 I know it's. Just this old house creaking and moaning. But well, when it happens, I can't help but wonder if it's Lincoln Clay coming to take what's left of my life. 